one I'm observing these little plants and I'm not sure if it's something that self sowed or if I sowed it. Um, I believe it's a weed so I'm going to check on my app in a second what it is and I will end my video on some beautiful things in my garden. Trying to do everything I can for the past few years to make my soil as fertile as possible. Everything from bringing in mulch, bringing in compost from the store, store-bought compost, making my own compost, making worm tea and worm castings, harvesting chicken eggs to eat and then using the calcium from the shells to amend the soil I'm using chicken fertilizer for my chickens I'm gathering spent coffee grounds I'm gathering leaves every fall you name it I've tried it for the most part so as you can see, I was trying to do this huge operation in which my whole garden is a food forest and my whole backyard is a food forest and, and potager garden. And it's been quite a feat. A lot of the times I'm doing it on my own. So it's kind of rewarding when you see things sprout that you didn't have intention to so here I have um, baby loquat seedlings that sprung up on their own. I'm sure at one point or another I might have thrown the seeds into the ground to, to grow them or just thrown it here with my compost. I'm not really sure. But they came up on their own. There's about nine plants here. And um, they grew just on their own. I'm going to post it on um, a buy nothing group so that others can get a chance to grow their own and these will fruit within three to four years being that it's already a year old since it's been in the ground and it just sprouted up because of the lush soil that's underneath it's really nice soil it's black soil this one has been in there for the the soil's been in there for about four years and initially it was just wood chips. The good part is that you can grow things easily in good soil but the downside is you can grow a lot of things that you didn't intentionally want to grow. So here I researched it on my app and it's telling me that it's wild bergamot which I believe I sowed the seeds here the year that I sowed the seeds for um, yarrow and I never saw it come up because I, I tried to grow several things however I'm still not sure if this is the variety that I planted specifically. So I'm not too sure if it's the variety that I sowed or if it's an actual wild one. But I'll allow it to grow and see what happens. And on that, on that note regarding things that you didn't intentionally plant, if you know that you don't want it, you can pull it out early before it recedes, recedes and makes many more of itself. So that's the other side to, um, to it. So uh, according to Gardening Australia, which I saw recently, they suggested when you're weeding to weed things while they're, they're young so that they don't overpopulate with the weed seeds. And secondly, you want to weed little things uh, by hand when it's young and um, the roots aren't very deep and especially after a rain when the soil is moist. Hi friends, so I decided that I'm going to sow some bush beans. So this is called Trilogy Organic Bush Beans from Johnny Seeds and I got about 20 seeds in here and I'm going to plant it in row fashion so that it'll be easy to harvest because trust me it's so hard to try to get into the plants when it's sown in a like in a bed without stepping into the bed so what I did was I soaked it in some water 
that'll help it to soften the seeds and it'll sprout quicker. And same thing with this scarlet runner bean, um, scarlet emperor. And so I soaked it and I believe the seeds look a lot bigger. Yeah, they look like they've swelled up a little bit or that the blossoms are red and a lot of carpenter bees and bees and butterflies are attracted to them as well as um, little trellises here but this is the main one that I'm going to be using this arch over here and so with this arch I have this to this cardboard to keep the weeds from growing and so I stuck one of the scarlet runner beans right here at the base of this trellis and then the other one the other two are in here as you can see the hole right there and right there and it's just kind of amongst the sweet peas or the snap peas so snow peas so as these start to dwindle from the heat the scarlet runner beans will start rooting and grow so it's actually okay to succession plant that way it'll climb up this trellis which a couple years ago I grew it on the same trellis the scarlet runner bean and the carpenter bees loved it it'll be kind of possibly climbing up my apple tree which is fine and um, over here in that bare patch right there, I grew the bush beans, the trilogy from Johnny's. It's only two rows. I might have to expand it some more. I had thrown some papaya plantlings over there, but they too, they too were really tall, probably three feet tall, four feet tall. And they got killed from the excess cold and rain. So I might just pull out that area right there where the papaya was planted just to get enough harvest to eat because I hate planting just a few things and you only get like a few of each ingredient to so you can't really cook a particular dish for a family. It's been so cold and raining and it's been raining non-stop for about three days and a lot of the rain was yesterday today's saturday yesterday was friday and we've been collecting as much water as possible it's all our trough right there we have t this is one of five troughs i believe we have or six and rain barrels i will have Have lots to do since it's been raining I haven't been coming out it's been too rainy and too cold and too wet and too windy and I had excuses and prior to that when it wasn't raining every day every other day I was coming out here uh, to water all my plants by hand because I don't have a drip system set up yet um, that will be happening sometime when I can finally afford it but in the meantime, I gotta weed this and I'm gonna move all my potted plants to a different location so I can get in there and clean this up really nicely. And for the most part, 
The reason why I leave my potted plants amongst my plants that my trees that are already in the ground is to kind of help them insulate each other and protect each other from the wind. So it's been working out because most of the plants in my food forest are doing fantastic and they're lush. So I just gotta move some plants and organize and get in there and clean up this mess here, which is best when it's the soil still wet from the rains. So I'm gonna do that now. So I have this pomegranate tree and it's just coming out of dormancy and it's starting to leaf out. However, at the bottom I have a ton of clover growing and you know the chickens love clover. So I'm going to stick the whole pot in there, let them decimate this. If they get the lower leaves on the pomegranate, that's fine. They're not going to kill my plant, but they're going to help me do the work of weeding in all those little crevices. Pulled the weeds out and they're sitting on top of my succulent and I'm just letting them dry and it does dual purpose. The weed dries out and dies and it won't reroot and at the same time it protects the succulent from the sun and when I pull the weeds off it's going to be nice and green as the other parts are going to turn reddish, orange, yellowish, brown. Over here I pulled out those weeds and I had moved my potted plants I pulled out the weeds, kind of raked it a little bit, then I didn't want the weed seeds to grow so I decided to put the slip sheets right there to suppress the weeds and um, I'm going to bring back some plants after a few weeks and make some holes in the um, cardboard and decide where I'm going to put my plants in the ground and make some more guilds, fruit tree guilds.